Right, Luke Jackson, mate, back in the ring this week. Final time for you. Uh, how are you feeling about this fight? Yeah, I feel good. I've, um, I've worked hard to get back into this shape. Um, probably the best shape of my life, really. You know, I'm two and a half years sober. I've turned my life around, so uh, I'm excited to see what I can do. Um, I've been chasing this fight for, since we had the first one. Um, I couldn't get it, but now we're here. Um, it's not even about Tyson. It's about me and the performance that I put on that, that night. Um, so I'm just excited to show what I can actually do on, on such a great show, you know. Unfortunately, that was the only time I got to fight on No Limits and it was a shitty performance. So I'm hoping to go out with a bang. If you sort of to look back on that night, what was it about, what, what sort of, what can you reveal that sort of contributed to the performance, um, if you can? I think it was uh, the lifestyle I was living, mate, and the training that I was trying to do as well. You know, like I'd done a lot of hard rounds with Brock Jarvis, and you know, I'm, I'm 30, I'm 38, nearly 39. You know, like there's a saying that you shouldn't do too much hard sparring when you get older, and it couldn't be any truer. You know, and I didn't listen, and I was going to war with Brock every week. You know, we go up there and spar, and if you know Brock Jarvis, it's it's never an easy day. You know, um, so I just trained a lot smarter this fight, and um, and it will show this 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 time around. Sort of you said it's your final fight. If you sort of to look back on your career and all that you've achieved, I guess is there a proudest moment there for you? Yeah, I, I guess the Olympic Games was a, my proudest achievement. Um, and you know, obviously fighting Carl Frampton was a big, big night. Um, you know, he was just too good. Um, and my only other loss is to Tyson. And you know, I'm trying to rectify that. And if I can do that, um, you know, I'll be a happy man. But either way. I'll do my best and I've, I've prepared well, I've left no stone unturned, I took four weeks off work before this fight which is unheard of for me, you know, like uh, I'm training people, holding pads every day and you know, I put, put myself first this time and, and I've really worked hard man, I went away and trained with Angelo Hyder and the Maloney twins and I just, I'm ready man, I'm, I'm like a kilo and a bit overweight and um, I could weigh in today if we had to, so I'm just excited and just ready to put on a great show. What are you sort of made of the, I guess, the build-up to this whole event and I guess the, the, the way Australian boxing sort of grown over the years from when you first started? Mate, it's amazing. You know, like, No Limits are, without a doubt, taking over the sport in Australia, if not the world. You know, they're, they're up there with the best, you know, and, you know, anyone that gets the opportunity to fight on a No Limits show would know that um, they do good things. Um, and they put the good fights on, man. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be on the show. Uh, I've sold a lot of tickets. Uh, I brought a big crew, you know, big, big uh, respect to my main sponsor, G'd Up. And um, I'm ready to go. Uh, this fight, you get the win, uh, fingers crossed, for you on Wednesday. Um, what's next for you and, and your life moving forward? I want to be a dad. I want to be a dad. That's my next goal in life. Um, you know, and that's it, man. I just want to spend time with my girlfriend. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, darling. She's been the backbone of my whole training camp, but just my whole recovery, you know. Like, I had a bit of a, 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 a drug problem there for a bit, and uh, and I turned my life around. I'm very proud of myself, and it's been hard, man. Um, but, you know, before a fight, I'd, I'd be used to, you know, in the back in the day, I'd be organising to get the drugs ready for after the fight, you know. Like, just fucking stupid, man, and... Um, I'm just I'm just happy that I just don't need that shit in my life anymore, man. I'm happy, and um, that's the main thing, man. And hopefully it shows in the ring. You know, I've got no pressure on me. I'm I'm an old man now, so uh, I just want to go out and have fun, bro. Good luck, man. Thank you, Bella. I appreciate it.